Hi again. So now let's continue our work and start building this widget, the chat messages widget, which is look like that. So for that, let's create a widget in here and let's name it uh, chat uh, widget dot dart like that. And let's uh, initialize a stateless widget and let's name it chat uh, widget in here like that. And now in order to show some dummy chat, I will create a new list. So in the constants here, I created something and I will paste it here. So basically here we have a list and here we have a map uh, similar to JSON files. So in here we have a key called message and another key called the chat index. In our case, when the user send a message will be at chat index zero and the response will be at the chat index one. Okay, so with this, we can do some if statements in order to change the UI. And now we will be displaying this messages on the screen. So we come back to the chat widget and in here, let's initialize a column and let's give it children. And uh, of course it is a row. And the first child of this row is an image. And to not forget, we need to give it the children, absolutely. So the first child in here would be, let's say, asset manager dot the bot image. Or let's start with the user image, okay? Like that. Let's format our code. And now what I will do is to wrap this row by some padding. And then I will wrap this padding by material widget just to give it the color. Okay. So like that and let's give it color. And uh, for now I will give it the card color like that. Now what uh, I will do is to use this chat widget in here for the list view.builder. So instead of this text, let's use our chat widget like that. Now restart the application and let's go back. And now it is like that and we ha are having an error. Okay, so let's add height and width for the image here like that. And here it is, it looks like that. Now next to this image, we need to add our text. So let's add text here. And let's say here will be the message. Save. And here it is. Now before that, I continue working on this because the text is a block and it will be always in block. What I prefer to do is to create a text widget. So this text widget, I will add this file now here and I will explain to you. So basically here we have a text, we have the label for the text and in here we have the style. So I'm giving for the style the color, which is can be null here. I'm giving it the font size and you can also make it nullable. But in my case, I put the default value for it here equal to 18. And finally, the font weight. So now this text widget, we can come back here and we can use it here. We need to import it, of course, and we need to give it the label. And let's say hello here, our message. Like that. And now, as you can see, we have it like that and the color is white and you can give it the font size, color and font weight and you can add other arguments for it. For now, I will just keep it like that and it would be nice if we add some spacing between the image and the text and in order to do that, we can simply add a size box between two widgets just like that. Okay, perfect. So now let's start showing our messages. So we need to show these messages. So for that, we need to use this chat message in order to pass it to this widget. So basically what we can do is the following. So we can use 
uh, initialize in here a string and another integer to know the chat index. So the first one would be the message, and then we will have the int, the chat index, like that. Now let's add the field parameters here. And of course we got an error here because we need to pass it in here. So what I'm going to do is to pass it directly. So we can call now the chat messages. Let's make sure that it is imported. OK. Now in here we need to give it the index. And then we need to give it the key, which is in our case the message. And let's remove this const. Then we'll need to use the chat index. And it is the same. But let's make sure of the keys. So we have the message like that and chat index. OK, I'm still having an error. It is because this one, an object. We didn't specify the type of this list or map in here. So what we can do in this case here, we can convert it to a string. And for this one, we can convert it to a double. So what I'm going to do is to say double.parse paste this and convert it to a string and actually it is an int so just like that perfect so now we have it I will start the application okay now it is working okay now let's do some F statements in order to show the correct images so the first thing will be that we need to check this color. So what I'm going to do is to check the chat index. If it is equal to zero, we can show the scaffold background color. And if not, we can show the card color. Save. And here you can see it. So the first one is the user, then the bot. User, then bot. OK. Let's now show the correct image, and for that, we can do the same if statement. So let's say if it's chat index equal to zero, we show the user image, and if not, we show the bot image. Save, and here it is. Now, for the label, we need to show the message. So, paste it here. Now it's not const anymore, save it. And here it is. Now it is working correctly. But we have this overflow error. And later on, we need to add the animated text to the reply from the bot. So in order to avoid this error, let's wrap this uh, text by an expanded widget like that. Now, as you can see, we have this image in the middle, and in order to fix it, we can just add the cross axis alignment to center and the row. Save it. Uh, oops, uh, it should be start, sorry. Like that, and now we have it in the beginning. Perfect. Now, the last thing is that we need to add uh, the buttons for in here, the like and dislike button. So what we can do is we can add uh, the if statement, as I showed you before, or we can just add an if statement like that. So if it is equal to zero, let's show a sized box, which is very optimized. And then uh, it is, if you use this widget, it's better than using the empty container, okay? Now you can use in here the row. And for the row, I will just add the code for it here, like that. OK, and in here it should be like that. And uh, save it. Now here it is. It looks pretty much just like the chat GPT. OK, perfect. So with this, we finished the main things inside of the chat screen. In the next tutorial, we'll start implementing this button. So when we press on it, we are showing the bottom bar. So we will start working on this. I'll see you in the next one.